Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Aaron, um, and I work for a company called Trace TV. Um, I'll be leading the session on um, Nigerian artists infiltrating global mainstream music culture. And um, I have these gentlemen by my side. Um, I'll let them introduce themselves, starting from you. From you. <laughs> um, my name is Adewale Maiwa Imano. You guys know me as Mayor of Lagos, Mayor Kung, signed to DMW. I'm an artist. <laughs> And I'm a panelist today. Yes, I say, yeah. <laughs> um, it's my turn. Okay. Yeah, it's your turn. Um, my name is YC. Yeah, that's all. Just YC. <laughs> Jagaban. Yeah, sometimes. Only on the weekends. Only on the weekends. I am Omar Laji number one. Ain't nobody, Ain't nobody better, better than. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm signed to AMBT now. You know, we thank God for, give God all the glory. <laughs> yeah, to God be the glory. Yeah, okay, so uh, basically um, this uh, session is about um, um, how um, Nigerian artists have been able to cross boundaries internationally, um, not, uh, ex not just um, locally, um, conquering the local market and internationally too. And um, some of my guys, my guys over here, they've also been on that uh, wave, and um, they are going to tell us how they've been able to um, do it, um, how 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 it, how it feels for a young artists from um, this part to be a global brand and um, to be able to go international, and people be uh, people will be aware of your of your content and your brand itself. And um, so I'll start with I'll start with you, uh, Mayokun. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> or oh, you want to start with YC? Start with YC, I mean. <laughs> Based on Jagavan, I mean. Yeah. Okay, I'll start with Jagavan. <laughs> okay. Um, so, the, the, the first question I have for you is, um, what's been the driving force for um, the Nigerian recording, um, for Nigerian artists generally, um, in the 21st century? I think, you know, I speak for myself and a bunch of other musicians when I say, you know, global domination is, is one of the, the key things that a lot of us take into consideration when we're in the studio making music because, you know, music from not just Nigeria but the African continent as a whole has taken center stage on a global level because, you know, there's a lot more people listening. There's, there's a lot more people from outside Africa looking in at what we are doing. So it's, it's changed from a situation where, you know, I would say, like, I speak for myself when I started making music and the, the main goal was, you know, just trying to be the best musician from Festac in Festac. And, you know, as time went on, as the audience began to expand, you know, it's no longer, okay, I'm no longer making music just for Lagosians. I'm not just making music for Nigerians, but the fact that the rest of the world is watching now at whatever it is we put out, that's like a major driving force. So when you're putting out music, irrespective of the language barrier or whatever it is you're you know, conversing in, you have it at the back of your mind that the world is watching. So it just, you know, it, it relates in the music. Yeah, uh, that's true. Uh, and um, what, what do you think is the, is the main, um the main medium for connecting to this global audience for you as an artist personally? I think, you know, music, first of all, the most important thing. And I'll say the, the, the internet has played a very, very major role because there's, there's times where, you know, back in the days, I wasn't, I won't, I won't speak for myself because I wasn't making music then, but you know, at a time where there wasn't Twitter, there was no Instagram or any of those things, if you put out music, no emails, no way to send it, the only way for your music to get somewhere, it had to be physically taken. But, you know, the internet has come in and has eliminated that distance between the creatives being the producers of the music and the fans being the consumers. So in real time, you could put out music right now and someone somewhere as far as Asia is able to, you know, get on that wave and listen to it in real time as soon as it drops. So the internet definitely is that's, that's the major medium. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the internet has been a blessing. And I'm, so I'm guessing you're making good money off the internet. The right way. 
Ah, ja, ja, auch. Ja, okay. Uh, Gustav, uh, so, um, Mayo uh, yep. this is this is for you. Uh, so, you're a prominent songwriter. Yep. Yep. Okay, so how, how, would you, how would you describe your process uh, um, when it comes to songwriting? And how, um, how important do you think songwriting is to a uh, Nigerian um, uh, music scene? First of all, I'm, I'm about to ask you a question. Do you agree that I'm a good songwriter? Yes, I do. <laughs> As if, if you don't agree, please let me see your answer. <laughs> do, you know what, do, do, do you know why I agree? Why? You, you have some punchlines that uh, you seem like a rapper sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I so won't so pack true. you like Packy, man. Ah. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> But for me, man, I, I think this this whole global dominance and everything, I think for me, I always like to conquer where I'm from first. Because I don't think anybody's going to hear me if I'm not big where I'm from. Do you understand? I don't, like, I really don't think too much about it. I don't I don't write so that Jay-Z will listen and say, oh, this guy is good. Do you understand? I'm writing so that somebody in the marketing Oh, shoot, you can say, oh, this guy good. And if everybody in Nigeria is saying, oh, may you are the baddest, Jay-Z go come here. Just, uh, I know they find Jay-Z. Jay-Z, they find. Just, uh, so I don't, think, I don't think rushing to, like I've been to shows where the songs I made in, in the worst studios are the ones they are charming the most. Just, uh, and I didn't write it because I want white people to dance to the song. This Paki man that I just said now, I've heard white people screaming at me when I'm performing before. Just that. And when I was writing it, I never thought. I didn't even, you know, day my head. I just want to please Africans and Africans only. If white people like it, good for them. <laughs> for them. So Africa to the world, all those things. Africa well, is good in for the you world too. too. Just that. On a common Africa for the world. <laughs> Africa, Africa is so, the world. So for me, just make music for your people. If you are big here, they'll find you. Yeah. Simple. And um, how has it been like um, internationally? The reception of your of your sound and your music. That's what I'm saying. Like you'll be shocked that the worst lyrics that you think you've ever heard from me is what they are shouting there. <laughs> <laughs> So give, give me the, 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 weird, the strangest venue you've ever performed in this country. I think it should be London Wireless. Okay, uh, why, and why was that? Because um, like five minutes before I performed, I was telling Sam Frank, my manager, that I don't want to go this place again, man. <laughs> because they were, it was like 80% white people. And I, I said, <laughs> and I said I was going to perform just Mama because I thought that song had just plenty English. At least if they don't know I'm they go understand, say, okay, in they speak English, just that. But to my greatest surprise, when I climbed the stage, I they sang everything word for word up to pack you like packing man, just that. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. So that, 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 that's dope. Um, so um, the next question, I think I'll direct it to both of you. Um, starting from YC, Jagaba. Um, so the question is, uh, w w what do you think? What next? What do you think is the next stage for um, the Afrobeat industry internationally, for Af for African artists or Nigerian artists to be precise, um, globally? What do you think is the next phase? Um, you know, I feel like the first, the current phase we're in, we have foreigners listening to our music. So I think the next and most important phase is for them to understand, you know, because it's like the rest of the world looks at any kind of music. Once you're an African or Nigerian artist, they just say, oh, you make Afrobeat, you know, but we as Nigerian artists, we know that Afrobeat is just like one genre out of every other thing. Like there's, you know, there's Fuji, there's Akpala, there's, yes, there's you know. Hip hop. So just, it, to, yeah. just, just, just to cut you short, you as, an, as a hip hop artist, how do you balance the hip hop and the Afro beats? Who said I'm a hip hop artist? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, what, what, what are you? I'm a, I'm a rap musician. I'm a rap musician. I'm not, I'm not, I don't like to, I don't like to put like myself. Well, hip hop. And why is uh, that? It's not like I don't like the word hip hop, but you know, conventionally, I won't say I'm a hip hop artist because okay. 
Like, I don't think I have a dedicated hip-hop project out there. I don't think I will make a dedicated hip-hop project because my music, you know, luckily for me, it caters to a broad audience. So I can't be put in the box, you know, but... Yeah, and I don't like, you know, Nigerian hip-hop is not really one of my favorite things to get into. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, you know, so back to what I was saying, it's, 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 it's a good thing that, you know, the world is listening, but it doesn't really do enough justice for people that don't make Afrobeat when anything and everything that comes from Africa is Afrobeat. So I think the next step would be for them to fully and properly understand the music because... I don't think if there's any American song coming here, it's just one genre. You know this is R&B. You know this is rock. You know this is Trap. you know pop. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I feel the same way they have been able to break down our music and we have been able to understand it. You know, it's the same way they should take the time to understand that, oh, okay, there's Afrobeats, there's, you know, the rest of them. Yeah, I think I was about to say the same thing. We just need orientation. Like things like this. All those music heads, nobody else. Like all those <laughs> OGs. Like explain what we are doing. Not everybody sounds like just that. Just that what I mean. Ah, is that? Yeah, yeah, so what yeah. sound like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that so that's dope. Um, so um, this question is we are going personal now. Not not too personal though. Okay. Um, so we'd like to know your next project, um, individually. Me. Okay. Both of you. Why is he? Why is he? What's the next one? <laughs> okay, so um, I think the, the next and most important thing for me is my debut album. You know, I haven't put out an album yet. and You should. Yeah. Woo! That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> Look, dude, good day. And when should, when should we be expecting this? Um, Timeline, August. You know, it's titled YC versus the hair. So, you know. For those that don't know, it's not Zaha, it's Zahir. <laughs> so yeah, YC versus Zahir, you know, I, I really can't wait to put it out. It's, it's a lot of music and yeah, that's, that's the next thing for me right now. Um, for me, singles back to back, hits, hits back to back, no time. December, I'm having a festival. So it's not just music, fashion, meet girls, have fun, drink Budweiser, and for nights, all of us go turn up, it gets. So yeah, I'm just dropping music back to back to back to back. Yeah. When are we expecting the next music? The next music? Uh -huh. Enjoy this one where I first drop it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll be dropping like four songs before the year runs out. So yeah. uh, okay, that, that, that's dope. Um, so I think um, the next session now is the uh, Q&A. Uh, where we get to get um, questions from the audience. My name is my name is Alot. Okay. What? Anot or Anot? <laughs> Do you have another name? Just call your last name. What's your guy name? That's my Alot. name. Alot. No, that's Shit. your only name. If I don't say Lot, man. Wait, please. Her... <laughs> Shit. Alot. Are Alot. you promiscuous in nature? No, I'm not promiscuous in nature. He looks like one, man. Lot, we are listening to your question. A lot, and that's in. Oh, and not, not. A lot, a lot, not. Okay. You mean H A R? -A -A -A. No, no. A <laughs> not, like from the north. This you are not a lot. Trying to okay. pause it. Lot. Okay, okay. silence. Okay, so my my question, I can say it's directed to Y C because why is because Y C still is not signed to a label now. <laughs> It's directed to YC. It's directed to YC because YC is not signed to a label right now. Okay. Well, he just said he's signed to a label. He's signed to his own label, mm, his personal label. Too. What do you think is the challenges artists are facing or labels and artists are facing? Because this attitude of artists leaving the labels and the labels understanding. Them, yeah. and because the way artists leave labels these days, <laughs> they leave labels like Halos. <laughs> Halos. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I see. Can you answer that, please? <laughs> so um, you know, like when when I initially made the announcement that I wasn't signed to my previous label anymore, there was a lot of people that you know had a lot to say about 
you know, artists leaving labels and everything and everything. But speaking only on myself because I don't know any other artist situations with whoever they were or weren't signed to. But, you know, I like to believe I left on the most amicable terms with my former employer. And, you know, whatever reasons I had or whatever reasons that led to both parties separating is, I think, is not public knowledge for the best of reasons. So moving forward, I think the, the, the reason why you're, you're saying this, that like you're seeing that there are a lot of artists, you know, leaving labels and a lot of labels splitting up. Like, if you look at other labels in other parts of the world, with the evolution of the music industry, you know, things have changed. Right now, is we have we have the internet as a very very major tool that has sort of reduced some of the responsibilities of a label, but a label is still very much needed. So I think the best thing for the industry in Nigeria is for labels to understand that you know the bigger the artist, there has to be reviews, not just in music. Like if you're a football fan, you know artists, um, footballers that start from the academy, you know they're on a certain contract, but when you start playing well, you start banging goals, you're com you become a high-priced commodity. If you don't play your player well, another team is going to come and you know take your player. So that's just it. So it's, it's down to conversations between the labels and the artists and you know reviewing as the artist grows. You know? So that's just all I have to say on that. So, so you know, that was your top scorer in your label? Um, <laughs> baddest. <laughs> baddest. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so next question. I'm Lil Yingson, by the way, though. I'm an upcoming trap artist and a rapper. Like, skirt, skirt, Lil Yingson. <laughs> so um, I want to ask a question. Most of upcoming artists don't really get it that easy, get into shows, get into perform. They'll be like, oh, you don't have a manager. How do you get a right manager? Sometimes you pay them. They don't link you up. Sometimes you even struggle so hard to get a record deal. How did you... YC, Mayo Kuhn, and the rest of these big stars. How did you get that connection? Because it's really difficult. <laughs> Your internet, they work first. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, for me, man, um, my own was just grace, man. I, I really didn't do any... I, I, I don't have the story of oh, when I did sing for one place. Nobody sent me that type of story. Although maybe, like, I don't know, man. But me, I didn't have that. You know what I'm saying about everybody don't suffer before. Yes. You get nobody never suffer. But I didn't have that. I didn't go from labels to labels to ask if they are going to sign me. I just posted something on um, Twitter and somebody saw it and he said, "Yeah, come my house." Simple. But for upcoming artists, I don't. I think it's grace, man. Like the most common thing you see here is talent. You are not the most talented person in this room. All of us, they sing, die. <laughs> Tell us that. If not writing, we they write, die. So no thing say, now you bad pass. Just, so if they put you and some other people, now you feel carry last. Yeah. Just, uh, so it's just grace of God and it's just placement. Ain't nobody better than this guy. Don't be me talking <laughs> so many people bother, but just like Grace, just nobody is the best artist. You get, yeah, they're not supposed to give that award. They're the best artist, uh, just like that's the best. At, now, why the best artist of 2000? You get, yeah, so it's just Grace. I, I feel like she keep doing what you are doing, keep improving on whatever you are doing. When is your time? It will be, you get me, yeah, bless, yeah, and also, um, <laughs> to get more on my, my own story, uh, we did a documentary about, um. About about my Trace. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. They, so they, yeah, yeah. we we, doc we documented how he came up, how he. Yeah. So you can watch that documentary. You know that was just watch Trace. Just watch Trace. It <laughs> just it just it just promote Trace now. Yeah, watch Trace. You can get the full story. Mm, yeah. And we, we might do something for my wife's son. Sure. We will. <laughs> If you don't want to do it, say you don't want to do it. We must do it. We want to do it, say we will. We, 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 do it, say we, 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 we are doing one for YC. We are doing one for YC. So YC, what's your own story? How, how um, answer uh, the young man. How, how do you think an upcoming artist can? Just like Mayoko said, you know, me, I mean, I have, I have my own story, but everybody's story is different. 
you know, I didn't I didn't carry CDs to different places and say, ah, please play my track or, you know, this and that. I was just hustling in my own little way locally in First Stack and, you know, luckily for me, someone that I went to school with played my music for Tiny at the time and, you know, I got a record deal in 2012. So, you know, even as I get inside in 2012, you know, things didn't start making sense until 2015. So it's like, it's it doesn't happen overnight. Even, you know, the whiskeys and dividos that we're seeing now internationally, you know, we were still listening to them years ago when we were still in secondary school. Mm -hmm. So it's a gradual process. And, you know, with respect of what you said about finding the right mass manager and finding, you know, labels and all that, just work with somebody that believes in your dream, somebody that wants to see you succeed. And, you know, the rest, the rest is just going to happen. It's going to fall in place the right way, you know. You don't necessarily have to go and look for the highest paying manager to yeah. manage you. Yeah. You just need somebody that's going to have your time and, you know, take your dream as seriously as you take it. So at the end of the day, it still comes down to you as an artist. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Um, so we'll take the last question and uh, we're done with the Q&A. What do you think about the lyrical content of Nigerian artists? Because a lot of people feel that there's no content and everybody sounds the same way. May I go over to you? Okay. Yeah, cool. <laughs> like, we sound the same way. <laughs> you mean lyri understand. like con I, lyrical content, like the lyrics in or the songs? Do you, do you, and are the, you saying the sound of the music or the lyrics? The lyrics itself. It like sounds the same way. When you're listening to uh, <laughs> the music out there, the Western Malians, world, for Malians, instance, Malians, Malians. they have content. The elite people, some listen to music and they want to learn something from it. They want to learn diction. They want to learn English. They want to learn a lot of things. And nothing in our country. Hello, 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 hello. Please, can we calm down? <laughs> They're not going to school. My music won't teach them English. I don't understand, man. But <laughs> Maya, can I answer the question, please? <laughs> but in all fairness, man. <laughs> hello, hello, uh, please. They know your English, man. I don't know, <laughs> One man. house. Um. <laughs> If they know your English, this this answer is not for them. I'm not answering this question for people who know your English. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is that I'm going to speak for myself. I'm not going to speak for like, other artists. I don't know why they are. My, I deal with, I don't know the word. I think it's ambiguity or something. So if I say something, the way you take it is the way you see it. Do you understand? Mm. What mm. me I mean? Mm. Mm. Like... Mm. I'm trying to look for a line now, bro. My head. Mm. Mm. My head. What do you talk? I want to mm. move on. Yeah. 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 <laughs> My point is that... <coughs> what do you I, mean I by try, that? No, I try, I try to be very creative with my lines. If you notice, sometimes I just stop because people, like say, people know they get them. I said so many things in Eleko 2016 and somebody told me that in 2019, they said, oh, now what do you mean be that? <laughs> Three years after, when I won't go show, if to say now, nah, three years after you learn what I talk for 2006, do, do you understand? So, everybody with Yon P, I cannot speak for the way YC writes his own type of music. You understand? I'm talking for myself. If I'm writing something, I like to keep, I like to keep people in the, oh, what does he mean by this? Oh, this, if you get keep, sense, people guessing, yeah. go pick what you learn from <laughs> here. If you want to learn English, you go primary school, you get. <laughs> but my own music, I like to keep it that way. It's just my own style. Another person, if you like to the talk, I'm straight. I want to something on your face. He's saying it like that. I heard the song yesterday. Everything is song very direct. Wait, you cannot what, sorry, miss. What what exactly? Yes. Are you? <laughs> I'm not even going to start it. <laughs> <I see. laughs> But some people like to keep their lyrics very direct. They say, "Oh, I want to shoot this guy." They are saying it. They are not saying. So I want to use my gun to stop. Do you understand? Do you understand? I hope I'm answering this question. Yeah. I, I, well, I'm answering it for my own self. I can't answer it for YC, Whiskey, or David. They'll come and explain the way that they write their own. That's that. But that's how I do my own. My, on my album, I had how many songs? On that? Like 14 songs. I, I had tracks that I personally wrote for. People where I think say okay, they get sense, they go fit. Do you get they go fit pick? Don't be every time, papa to pa. 
there's a track there, Drama Queen. I, I did my best to do jazz. Hello, sir. Hello, no, sir. I don't mean jazz, that, literally. That song was get, dope now. I did jazz. Yeah, if, if you're saying, I think it would be a, a slap in the face to, you know, a lot of Nigerian creatives to say that a lot of people are using the same lyrics or sounding the same because there's, there's people that sing soul, gospel, yeah. and, and everything. Yeah. But we as musicians, we are not responsible for what is blowing. It's yeah, you guys decide what exactly. blows. Exactly, you decide, you decide what that. blows. It's not so our fault. It's not our fault, you know. So, so if you want to listen to soul music, Timmy, um, Timmy <laughs> Dakolo, um, um, Bears. I listen to Bears a lot. People don't even, you get, Simi, Asha, they know they say, who on your face, you get. <laughs> Do you understand? If I do that type of music, now all of you now, you're not going to invite me to come uh, this yes, place. Yes, man. Stand up. So, yeah. yeah, okay. Um, my name is Obina Norum from Business Day Newspaper. Hey. Um, my hey, question Norman. is... Very serious. I don't fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mess up. Headline question, tomorrow morning. My question is directed to YC. Now, <coughs> why see? Yes, sir. We have always seen you on the big stage. Yeah, thank you. Now, my question is this. What has been the driving force behind your music? And again, have you ever been on any social responsibility uh, projects to give back to the society? Thank you. Um, so, I mean, you know, the driving force basically for me making music is you know initially started as a hobby but you know right now music is the only thing I'm doing is what puts food on my table it what's is what makes me you know take care of my family and like that's as much of a driving force anybody needs to do anything and you know with regards giving back to the society you know I'm not going to sit here and say I have one charity or anything or anything but you know in my only two way you know I give back to you know, most of the people around me because I'm not going to sit here and be one of those people that's, you know, showing off on social media and all that stuff when, you know, people that are closest to me are in need. So, I mean, social responsibility is, is one of the things that I'm very passionate about. I just haven't had the outlet to, you know, properly propagate the things that I would love to do, but I have definitely have plans to do them. So, I mean, if... There's any way I can, I will. If I can't, I will yeah, not. Th thank so you, I see your time is up. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but, yeah, but, but uh, for a fact, I, I, know, I know you do a lot uh, around your hood first stack. Uh, sometimes, so, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, so I give you props for that. Um, so uh, so that's, that's the end of the session. And um, basically, I think um, the most important thing we got from this was, was that, or rather is that, um, you can um, you can do everything you need to do from the internet, from your from your house, from your from your little. Uh, you have Twitter, you have Instagram, you have different platforms, and you can harness and showcase your skills and your talents and become a worldwide brand, like, worldwide brand like these guys over here. Um, so uh, thank you, uh, Mayokun. Thank you, YC. Thank you, Budweiser. And that's a wrap.